Hey y'all, my name is Courtney. Um, so for my project, I chose the topic of the spreading of germs and the warning signs of sickness. So under the personal and consumer health uh, strand and the grade levels I chose were kindergarten and first grade. And I integrated these with both math and science. So the reason I chose kin the uh, kindergarten and first grade is because I wanna teach kindergarten, hopefully. Um, so, um, the standard course of study that I chose was one PCH1 and then um, KPCH1. And basically, these are both applying the measures of cleanliness and disease prevention. These are both, but they both go into different um, details on both of these strands. So, basically, my students will be able to. Um, recognize that germs produce illness and can spread from one person to another. Um, they can use measures to prevent the spreading of germs. They can um, use the correct steps when hand washing. They can, um, they will be able to know the importance of hand washing and why it is important to keep our hands away from our face and so that we stay healthy and we can stay in school. Um, so, for my teacher handout, I created a little, it's kind of like a chart where it has three columns. The first one is what time I wash my hands. And then the third one is the reason, or the second one is the reason I wash my hands. And then the third one is um, how I felt when I washed my hands. This will be get given out at the end of the lesson for them to take home and fill out. So every time that they wash their hands, they can observe why they wash their hands, what like the different times they wash their hands, and um, and how they um, felt when they wash their hands. So if they're feeling sick or if they're feeling good, um, sometimes it's just a little sneeze, but still we, we need to be aware of those things. Um, so for this lesson, you would need. Um, PowerPoint if you choose to I would just I'm I would choose to show a video I actually have in my lesson plan a video it is called um, Germ smart it's on YouTube it's germ smart wash your hands in this video it basically goes over the um, The spreading of germs and it's it's silly but kindergarten and first graders like silly videos so in this video it's like two little germs animated germs that go from one place to the next and it shows how germs get spread and then it gives a little bit of detail on the importance of washing your hands and the um, steps on washing your hands and then after this video I would um, um, start the discussion with if we think this video could be real since it was animated the students might not think it's real but in reality germs are everywhere and they do go from place to place and they are on everything. So we need to make sure that the students realize that this that germs are real. And then um, since the video goes into a little bit of the directions of hand, hand washing, I would have my students sing along with me the ABCs or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and then explain to them that this is the proper amount of time for hand washing and um, why it's important to wash your hands the proper way. And then in the classroom sitting in our chairs, we would, um, I would go over the um, steps on hand washing without soap or water so that they can get a feel for it first. A lot of them probably already know how to wash their hands, but not correctly. A lot of times they just rub their hands together without doing anything. Sometimes they don't even need soap. So I feel like this is important for them to know and understand because they, like, especially if we do it in the winter, that's the prime time for the kids to get sick. So I just feel like it's it'll be a lifelong lesson for them to learn the proper way to wash their hands. Um, after, we dem after I demonstrate and we all do wash our hands without soap and water, we'll all line up and I would likely get one of my male coworkers to come with me so he could go in the male bathroom and we would all go wash our hands and sing twinkle twinkle little star or abc's 
and to ensure that they know the correct way to wash their hands and they are doing it correctly. Um, at that point, since my students would now the, know the correct way for them to wash their hands, it is now important for them to learn how germs are, how these germs are spread that they just washed away. So in the YouTube video that I was talking about, it also um, talks about how germs are spread, germs are on everything. I think the ones that they list where it's on like the countertops, the dogs, the like the TV remote, it's, it goes into a, a little bit of detail. But um, before, first I would add, I would start a class discussion on, and I would like ask, so what do you think germs are on and how do we get sick from these germs? And my hopeful response to these would be, um, students would say, germs are on everything. Germs are, germs are everywhere. And then I hope, like, I would hope that they already know that you get sick from sneezing and touching your face after you touch something that's dirty. Um, but if they didn't, I would go ahead and explain that we have to keep our hands away from our mouths and away from our face after before we like so so that we don't get sick and if we do need to touch our hands we need to wash our face like we shouldn't ever touch our hand touch our face with our hands um unless like we're blowing our nose with a tissue and then after that we still should wash our hands um so for the activity i've done this as a as in elementary school it was very very fun but it was very, very messy. So my recommendation is taking the students outside. But, um, so my teacher, we done this in first grade, I think. My teacher, she got like 10 different colors of glitter. We all went outside. Actually, I think we stayed inside. E either way, she would, she sprayed a little, little bit of um, water on our hands and then poured a little bit of glitter on our hands on our just one hand but um and she at that point we like would go around we had glitter on our hands we would go around to each of our classroom classmates and shake shake their hands and um at the end we all had everyone's different color of glitter on our hands and it was all a mess it was everywhere and it wasn't sometimes it wasn't just on our hands it was like on the back of our hands or on the on our wrist and um and then some students found glitter on their shirts. So that just, the glitter represents germs, like different germs that are on each individual's hands. And by shaking each other's hands, you get germs all over your hands and a bunch of different germs. So this is why I believe that it's important to um, do this activity so that they know how easily germs are spread. And, um, but at also at the same time, I don't want them to be scared to go shake their classmates hands or um, give them a hug or you know but I do believe it's important to make them aware that germs are spread this easily and it can they can get sick from it so obviously we would be outside for this since it is so messy um so we would have to then come back into the into the school building making sure they don't touch anything because glitter is a mess, but it's so much fun. Um, and we will go wash our hands the correct way. And how we know that all of our germs are gone is if all of our glitter is gone. So um, that's that's the activity. I think it's really fun. Um, and for my worksheets, I already talked about one of them a little bit. That's the one that would be going home with them. So they would take it home for one night and after the school day and like again it says today I washed my hands at blank o'clock so they'd fill in the they should already know how to tell time we've probably already covered that um and then the next question would be the next column is why I wash my hands and then the next column is how they feel like how they felt now how they how they feel now so, um, and the directions are filling a chart with what time you wash your hands, followed by the reason. Next, I want you to fill out the third blank with how you felt well or sick. And then the next one, we would probably only do this for two days after this lesson. Um, it's titled, I wash my hands when. And I would, it says place a sticker in the box whenever you have completed the task. But 
since we don't all have stickers, I would probably just let them draw in the box whenever they completed the task. And each of the boxes indicate, um, I wonder if I can show you, I can't turn it around, but, um, I was going to turn it around to show you, but, um, each of the box, there's four boxes, and the first one is, they each follow the, I wash my hands when, so I washed my hands after I used the bathroom, I wash my hands before a meal or snack, so before we go eat lunch or before we have snack time, um, after I sneezed or coughed into my hands, or whenever I felt the need to, so if we would like i said we probably only do this for a day or two because our boxes would get pretty full by the end of it um and so we would probably just place this on our desk and whenever a student asked to go use the restroom they would fill in their chart and it would be they would see how often they wash their hands and how how often they need to wash their hands um, and like I said, I don't want the students to be scared of germs, I mean, not scared of germs, because germs can get them sick, but I don't want them to be afraid that they can't be, they can't, like, shake their friend's hands, they can't give them a hug, they just need to know that it's important to, like, cover your mouth, don't touch your face with your hands before you, like, always wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, before you eat, all these little things it's I just feel like it's important for them to know these things and um, how important washing your hands and being aware of germs are um, so yeah that's that's really all I have um, like I said you can look at my um, project guide I guess on um, I will link it underneath my sub submission as a Google Doc if you want to look at it for the instructions on the glitter activity. But yeah, that's it. Thank you.